Hi everyone, I'm Needlecraft Danny and I'm here for Floss Tube number 13. Um, if you want like almost daily updates, um, you can check my Instagram. I'm Needlecraft Danny on there as well. I will write it below and uh, you can check it out. Um, here on YouTube, I'm normally back on Mondays. If my boyfriend's home on Monday, I'm back on Tuesday because I don't film when he's home. Um, I just don't like it. <laughs> so today for class tube number 13, um, I have my whip update for the last week. I'm going to tell you as far as I can what I'm uh, planning to work on for next week and I have some haul. So let's just get started with the whip update. Um, I'm participating in a challenge by the Full Coverage Fanatics Facebook group. I will link them below as well. Um, it, the challenge is to stitch on a full coverage piece every day, 90 days in a row. So the whole July, August and September. So nearly two months are done. Um, I have a personal goal of at least stitching 100 stitches every day. And that's what I've done so far. The project I'm using is a heaven and earth design. It's called Mini Winter Rose artwork by Rachel Anderson. And I will insert a picture of where I was last time here. And this is where I'm at now. So I worked quite a bit down here because um, yeah, it were busy, busy days and I just wanted to get it done and not work in the confetti heavy areas. So I did a lot over here. Today I filled in this spot and um, yeah, I'm close to a page finish. I won't get it done this week, but maybe next one? That would be cool. But yeah, I'm close. And so that's my progress on Mini Winter Rose. This one is stitched on 28 count two over 110 stitches. Um, yeah, here we go. I love this project so far, um, especially the, that I can switch between like confetti heavy areas in the frame itself and blocks of color in those um, in the background itself. So yeah, looking forward to completing the challenge. Um, as I said, September is left and the last bit of August. And then I probably switch it out because I stitched a long time on it. So yeah, Mini Winter Rose. Um, did I miss something? No. Okay, I have it all written down because normally I um, always forget to tell you something like um, what I'm stitching it on and stuff like that. So I wrote everything down to make sure I tell you everything I want to tell you. So 28 count Lugana 2 over 1, Mini Winter Rose and for the next project, um, I'm doing kind of my thing of Arbitrary August. Um, if you want to know what exactly I'm doing, even if it's only for the last like five days, um, I will link the video for my Arbitrary August below. I have a whole video on what I'm planning to do. Um, at the same time, it's a bit parade. Um, even if I already started, I think, nine projects during August. But um, it's a bit parade and you can check it out. I will link it below. Um, so chronological order. My last video I filmed on Monday. And um, I'm not sure. I think I did not show you what I'm going to stitch that day. It was a day for a whip. So the one I got was my oldest whip. Um, it's a kit by Rico Designs. And... Um, I call it my lavender garden because, uh, my, sorry, my lavender garden, um, because there's lavender on, on, everywhere. Um, it's a tablecloth and you stitch around the middle on four sides or on all four sides. I have, um, I show you first a picture of where I was last time over here. And this is where I'm at now. So two sides or one and a half sides were already completed and I worked on the third one. The border was already done, so I only got to do those greens in here. Three different greens. 
And that's it. There's still the red missing, um, which like holds it to the border. Um, yeah, that's it. All I get done. Not a lot, but every stitch counts, especially on a project like this, which I'm not like fully in love with. I like it and I like to get it done, but I'm not fully in love. So it's good to have some, progr some progress and yeah, that's it. The needle minder on here and as well the one on Mini Winter Rose, this one. They are both from Denka Designs. I will link the shop or her Etsy shop below. Um, yeah, this one is, I think, kind of some 14 count Ada to stitch on. Yeah, and I'm stitching a 2 over 1. On Tuesday, I had a new start. So the one I got was another Heaven on Earth Designs, another full coverage piece. If you saw my last videos, I did a lot of full coverage pieces um, during arbitrary August, but that's just because I have a lot of uh, sorry because I have a lot of full coverage pieces, so that's kind of the way it is. <laughs> the one I got was uh, Mini Cinderella artwork by Alexandra Daw. I love this piece. It's monochromatic, still 16 colors in there, and it's absolutely beautiful. I started in the top, in the middle and work my way to the left because that's normally how I stitch. I start in the top left and then work my way to the right and down. So I started in the middle on this one, work my way to the left and then concentrating, sorry, concentrated on getting colors in that would help me get this little guy finished. I did not because I only had two days, but I did some progress. So. This one is stitched on 28 count, 1 over 1, in a light blue. I think it's ice blue. Um, it's called ice blue. I wanted to have some color in there because I'm stitching a lot of black and white and I did not want to stitch that on white fabric. So I took a blue one and that's why I'm stitching 28 count, 1 over 1, because I want to like have everything covered and no fabric shining through. So yeah, that's the little guy, or at least the start. That's his tail, and there's like a free spot in between, um, between his tail and his body over here. So that's that. Um, yeah, really love this piece. I think there are five colors in now, and yeah, that's kind of the first one during arbitrary August. I really did not want to put down and just wanted to keep stitching and stitching and stitching. <laughs> um, I found this piece because I watched um, Teresa Craig here in Plastium and she stitched it on an opalescent fabric and that looked beautiful as well. Um, I will link her below. I think it was one of her older finishes so um, in her older videos but it's just it's a beautiful piece. It really is. Um, so I worked on this one on Tuesday and Wednesday and on Thursday, I had a free evening because um, my boyfriend had to work and I had a free day. So eight hours stitching time. Um, it was a whip day again. So the whip I got was Lilac Fairy. That's a Bavarco kit. So everything included. And it's actually my favorite whip. Um, it's stitched on 14 count lilac Ada, and I'll show you a picture of what it was like last time. And that's where I'm at now. So I concentrated on those blue flowers over there. I finished some of them and um, just worked my way down with the thread on my needle and then I filled in the missing brown over here for the branches, took it all the way down, was finished over there and had some thread left on my needle so I got in her hair, did a few stitches over there and I finished uh, a second color of background. The thing I love about uh, this whip is that you normally stitch 2 over 1 on 14 count Ada 
But the background, all those lilac background, um, your stitch one over one on 14 counts. So it gives a really nice effect um, and letting all the things that really matter in the pattern like pop beautifully. So yeah, that's Lilac Fairy. I did a good amount of stitching there. Super happy and can't wait to get in her wings down there. Yeah, maybe next time. I first want to finish those flowers on the side. So. Yeah, maybe next time. This needle minder I got from 1 to, two, 1 to 3 stitch and I think it's called Kingfisher or Blue Kingfisher, something like that. Yeah, there we go. That's been Thursday. On Friday, I started another project and I was so happy when I got it and when I pulled my piece of paper out of the bowl and I saw which project I'm working on, I was like super happy. I had, I waited for something like this and yeah, I was just really fun stitching it. The project I'm talking about is a Mirabilia. That's why I was so happy. I don't need that. Um, it's called Royal Games Number no. 1 and I love it. I started with Queen of Hearts and want to finish Queen of Hearts before I start with the Queen of Spades. Um, I decided to stitch the skin um, 2 over 2 as well as the rest of the design. I'm stitching it on a 32 count Belfast linen in white over last scent. Um, having some problems here. <laughs> there we go. And here's where I'm at. That's super cool. So I decided to start in the middle of the pattern, work my way up. Um, then I got to the rows and decided I want to finish this rows. And so I finished the rows, put the beads in. I don't know if you can see them. Yeah, they probably can see them. There are some beads in here and I did those. And then I asked my boyfriend, which I should do next, and he said the leaves on the side. I did those, backstitched everywhere where all stitches around were done. So now I could probably finish the last backstitch over here, finish the ring, because the hand is done. Um, after I did those leaves, I asked my boyfriend what to do next, and he said her hand. So that's what I did next. And over here, that's her cleavage, and then over here will be her face. And the needle minders again from Benka Designs. This one is a bitsy bob needle minder, so you can put your beads over here and they don't fall off if you stitch with it. So, really helpful. I use it when I stitched on the rows. I really love this pattern. I don't know, you can, can't quite see. Oh, yeah, here you can see the upper lesson. It's super sparkly and because it's like a 16 count over uh, 2 over 1 or 2 over 2 on the 32, you sometimes can see some sparkle in between the stitches and I just love it. Really cool pattern and I can't wait to get back to it. Really can't wait. And it's not like super big, especially for a Mirabilia, I think. So yeah, love it. And the colors are just beautiful in her. Um, did I forget something? I don't think so. No, did not forget. I thought about stitching her skin uh, one over one. And I like the pictures that you see um, of one over one stitches. But to be honest, that's just too much effort you're putting in for something that looks good but not as good to like yeah to be worth the effort just yeah not really not really worth the effort so i decided to start, just go with two over two like it's charted and i'm happy i like it so yeah that's it um we're royal games number one i have three Three more Mirabilias kitted up. And I want to start another one. <laughs> I really want to, so we'll see. <laughs> um, yeah, that was uh, Royal Games on Friday and Saturday. On Sunday, next 
was a whip again, and I got the dragon. Um, I got this one for the second time during arbitrary August, but that's okay. Um, I'll show you a picture of where it was like last time, over here. And this is where I'm at. So, um, this one is already done. I'm doing two of the same kind on the same piece of fabric to make a tablecloth out of it. The first one is done, and with the second one, I'm here. So, this was my travel stitching, and I wanted to finish this part in here, do one or two lengths of thread down here. I did that, and that day was a great day for travel stitching, and I was still on the go, um, only had the dragon with me, so I continued and did a lot on here. When I got it as my whip on Sunday, I did one length of thread, and I thought I had some time left in the evening, so I got another length of thread onto my needle, then I had to leave, and... Yeah, I did not have time anymore, so the thread is still on a needle and I'm not stitching on it. But yeah, that's the way it is, I suppose. And now I'm not having it as a travel stitching because at the moment I'm having Hello Pumpkin Soap. I wanted to finish the goal on the dragon and I did, so I switched it out. Um, the Hello Pumpkin Cell month four or part number four is um, out since two weeks now. Or nearly two weeks and I hadn't started till Thursday so I started a week late that's not a problem but um, I know that I only have it as a travel stitching during August and September so I have to finish at it as a travel stitching which is or which can be complicated because sometimes I just don't get any stitching or any travel stitching done like for a week. So yeah, that's just the way it is. And I just realized I forgot to tell you the dragon is stitched on a 14 count Ada 2 over 1. Yeah. Um so I just show you a picture of where the Hello Pumpkin cell um was last time. And then I show you a picture of what month number four um, this look like. So here's what it looked like last time with month three finished. This is what month four will look like when it's finished. And this is where I'm at. So I already finished two colors completely. Still have a mini thread in there. I finished those two colors, the red and the orange. Um, I want us to start on the apple. Um, yeah, and so there's only one color missing in the apple, and then I will be done with that one and concentrate on the pumpkin. Um, I'm com color completing, so yeah, that's what it's looking like right now. I know the needle is a bit in the way, but there's only like such a so short length of thread on there anymore, so yeah. It's just the way it is. <laughs> there we go. Hello, pumpkin cell. And it will continue as my travel stitching as long as it's done. Or as long as month number four is done. This one, <laughs> this one is stitched on 28 count, one over one full cross. Here we go. Um, yeah, that's that. So today, or yesterday, I started a, a project for Arbitrary August and then we'll be stitching on this one today um, as soon as I'm done with editing this video and stuff like that. So whenever that's done, I'm going to start stitching on Eat the Chocolate by My Big Toe Designs. Um, this one. It says, four out of five voices in my head say, eat the chocolate. It is provided as, eat the chocolate, eat the snack, eat the, cup, eat the cupcake, or eat the cookie. And I will stitch, eat the cookie. Um, I'm stitching it with the called four threads. 
which are all gentle art sampler threads and they are those five sugar plum this one does not look like it does on the video it's really pink it's called um, pink as a layer this one is royal purple dark chocolate or chocolate chart, ooh, and deep sea I already finished stitching with deep sea because I'm already stitched that um, so I do not have the, uh, the buttons yet there are four buttons in here they are not stitched those are buttons and I do not have them yet but I already finished the first square and eat the cool for cookie so that's what I'm going to continue when I'm done with the video I'm going to stitch the, those birds down here stitch the border in the bottom and then work my way up so this one is uh, stitched in the same or on the same fabric than Royal Games number one. It's a 32 count Belfast linen in white opalescent. And yeah, you can see the opalescent over here, I think. Yeah, that's that. That's what I'm going to continue on. For the rest of Arbitrary August, I'm going to have two more whips that I'm stitching on and one more start. I do not yet know what I'm going to stitch on because I'm just picking them out of my bowl with pieces of paper. Um, but it will be two whips and one start. Then on Sunday, September starts. And for September, I'm going to stitch on the Joyful World cell for September. I did not yet start it. Um, and I normally want them to have, to have them on display like the August one over here. Um, as soon as the month starts, yeah, that's not possible with September because I have not yet started. Um, so that's going to be the first thing I'm going to stitch on in September to get it done, have it on display, and then I'm continuing with the other whips. So for Sunday, um, I'm going to stitch on the Joyful Vault cell, and I think on Monday I'll be back with my next video. So yeah, that's everything for whips and plans and then I have some haul finally um, this was one package from one two three stitch and because I'm in Germany as you might might, might hear on the accent um, it takes an awful lot of time to step arrives so for this package I waited five weeks that's really long they sent me the notification that um, the order shipped two days after I ordered. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, two days after I ordered, I got the shipping notification. And I think five days later, or no, or, right, five days after I ordered, I got the notification it's with customs in Frankfurt. And then I waited more than four weeks to get here. So it's been in Germany. It's been with customs and I had to wait four weeks or more than four weeks actually till it got here. That's really annoying. That's really annoying. I checked my mailbox every day because I waited on it. I actually there are two projects or two fabrics in for projects. I wanted to start during arbitrary August. I wanted to have them in my bowl. That just did not happen because they weren't there. So that's a bit sad, to be honest, but that's just the way it is, I suppose. Um, yeah, let's get started. Okay, I just had to pause the video because I had to get something. So I'm back. Um, let's get started with the fabric. I have some 28 count antique white jobalan, even with. Um, I just I wanted to try some Jovelin fabric and I don't get it here in Germany so I ordered because I knew I had some I order for one to three stitch and I just put this one with me in my chart or in my cart. I do not yet have a chart assigned to this fabric but I'm sure there will be some. So yeah, Jovelin fabric. 
and then I have some 40 count antique white Newcastle linen. It's a big piece. Um, this one is assigned for a charge. It's a really big piece, especially because it's a 40 count. <laughs> um, and the chart I'm going to stitch on this one was one of those charts I wanted to start during August, which just it's not happening. Um, I'm not sure when to start it. Maybe it's a new, year, a new Year's Eve or something like that. New Year, New Start, something like that. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe just in between. Um, the chart I'm stitching on this fabric is by Heaven and Earth Designs. It's the supersized Max Colors clip hanger. I absolutely adore this chart. And I think there are 128 pages. I can check it. Um, there are 168 pages. I'm sorry. I'm stitching it, or I am having the chart in large format, but there are 168 pages. Woo! <laughs> That's a lifetime project. Um, and then I have nearly everything for three charts I already have, and I just kit it up. Um, this one is by Levin and Lace. It's the Celtic Autumn. This one. Um, I'm not having the needle paints uh, you need because I have to substitute them. They're not longer produced or only, or you can only get it in a few shops or something like that. I have to Google it again and then um, get myself those colors. But for now, I have the rest of the chart or the rest of the things I need so I can start it. Um, I kitted up Ella the Frog Princess, Mirabilia chart by Nora Corbett. I already have the, or had the fabric, so I could have technically started it and I already had it in my bowl for arbitrary August, but I missed the beads and there's one chronic in there, so yeah. That's everything I missed. I think the chronic is this one over here. No, that's not the one. That's the one. So it's a gold. Yeah, that's for a little frog princess. And where did I put? There we go. And then I kitted up Sleepy Hollow by Glendon Place. Can you see it with that glare? I think you can see it quite okay. Yeah, this one. Um, I got myself the fabric. It's a 28 count um, haunted or 28 count casual linen by Picture This Plus. It's called Haunted and it's perfect for a Halloween shirt. So yeah, get this one up. The fabric and everything. That's been uh, the other chart I wanted to start during arbitrary August, but I was missing the fabric, so I couldn't. And this will be a Halloween start. I already planned that out. <laughs> so this will be a Halloween start and I'm looking forward to it. Because it's a beautiful chart. Um, for this chart I needed some Karen Water Lilies. It's called Lemon and Lime and it's for the moon. This one. And... Yeah. I needed some more Krennic. So I already showed you the gold for a lot of fragments. Princess, sorry, there's some more Krennic in there. I do not know if those Krennics are for Sleepy Hollow or for Celtic Autumn. I just bought everything for those three charts and did not sort it out because I just put them in my stash and if I need it, I will get it out while stitching on the project. So I don't have like every project kitted up separately. So. That's why I just don't know for which project it is. I have some Petite Treasure Braid. I'm sure this one was for the Celtic Autumn Mail. Four cards required. And I have them all. And that's it. And the only thing missing are all those beads. I do not show you all of them separately. There's a, a lot of beads in here. Um, and then I got myself another chart. 
And the chart I mean is Lavender Lace South Wick Summer. So I have now the Autumn one kitted up, or nearly kitted up, and Summer I have as well. So yay! I think I'm missing the, the fabric for both of them, so also for the Autumn one. I could not start the Autumn one if I'd like to. I think so, I'm not sure. But yeah, that's, that's the way it is. And there we go. That's all my haul. And I hope it wasn't too much all over the place during the whole session because it felt like. Um, but if it was, I'm sorry. If you have any questions or something, just ask me and I try to explain a bit better. And I hope my accent isn't too bad and you could listen. <laughs> how I butcher your language and um, yeah, I'm sorry, <laughs> just the way it is. So yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed. If you like, leave me a like, a comment. I would love to answer your comments or um, you can always su subscribe and um, I hope to see you next time. Happy stitching. Bye. <laughs>